We're at Magnolia Plantation, which is a historic site in Charleston, South Carolina. It has a big plantation house and gardens and a little mini zoo. And it's really hot. Ugh. And the mosquitoes are just like out because it just rained really hard in the middle of all this heat. So it's like a mosquito party and we're just dancing around. And we went on the tram tour of the property. It was about 45 minutes long. Well, we're still burning right now because of our rain, but this is called resurrection burn. And it doesn't always look like that. Sometimes it's all brown and shriveled up. Just like our children get all cold and crazy when it's time to eat, so do these birds. Well, we're gonna have to go back to the house because we're going to have to take care He's got nothing better to do. Now the gray stringy plant you see hanging from all these trees is called Spanish moss. But the name is very misleading because it's not Spanish nor is it a moss. And it was really fun. We saw alligators, we saw herons, we saw all sorts of birds and wildlife and uh, plants. I turned Olive around to face me so I could swat mosquitoes off her. Cup on your hair. So I turned the stroller seat around so Olive could face me so I could watch mosquitoes and swat them off her while they were trying to bite her. But Olive's never faced me in the stroller, so she thinks it's so funny. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, sweaty baby. <laughs> if you look at the water, it's just, oh, mosquito. It's just covered in this green stuff, and apparently it's not algae. It's, what did they say it was? Was it duckweed? Duckweed, duckweed, it was duckweed. So the water is covered in duckweed, which makes it look kind of like a solid substance when you look down. And when the alligators are swimming through, you can see their little eyes just popping through the solid substance of green. It's, it's kind of cool. Oh no, no, no. Oh, is it a kookaburra? Yeah, it's a kookaburra. It's some kind of bird. Come on, Mabel, let's go. Say bye, bye, booty. You guys, why is that bubbling in the middle? Yeah, it's probably a fountain filter thing. Mama, I'm gonna go home. What's the matter, Lyndon? What's that noise? Can you tell me how the noise is? No, the noise is... Is it the machine? Yeah. Oh. Can you is, make a machine is, noise? Is the machine making a... That noise? Yeah. Do you want to go see the machine? Yeah. What's that song? If something seems scary... If something seems scary... Let's go take a look and check it out and feel better. If something seems scary, let's go take a look and check it out and feel better. And then you'll go home for a sleepover and you'll be not scared. Just go to sleep. Oh, there's a little machine. What? It's just a little one. Do you see that baby machine? Yeah. What sound is it making? I think that baby machine is a pump for that pond. Do you remember the bubbles that were coming up? And Mama said, what are those bubbles? We're coming near the end of this trial trip and oh, we're getting near the end of this trial run road trip and um, I'm struggling with the decision about, you know, getting an RV and actually living on the road as a full-time family. And some of my concerns are space. It turns out I'm someone who really appreciates personal space, so I, I struggle even in a hotel. If we were on the road, and especially in an Airstream, that's way smaller than the hotel room. But as Michael says, I'd have all of outside to have space, and that's true. And we could set up a tent, and I could even have like a she shed tent. Don't eat Lyndon Peacock. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Why is there drips or right now. Let's coming from me? Yeah, why are there drips coming from your arm? There's drips coming from Lyndon's arm. What's happening? <laughs> drips coming from your elbow. Is it bleeding? No. The other thing that concerns me is the idea that I'm with the girls, with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
for an indefinite period of time forever and ever and ever. The idea of never ever having a break is a little daunting, but we've done it. We've done it this, this road trip. It's just healthier to get a little bit of space every once in a while and a, some time for your mind to just like hear a little bit of silence. <laughs> Mom, and the proof that they shared. So proud of you, Linda, and you shared with your sister. <laughs> oh, that's very generous. They had a play date in Paducah. We met some friends and that was really cool. We got to drop off Linden and Maple at a friend's house. It's not easy to, you know, go to a new town or city or, or place and just like find someone who you, who you trust to watch your children. I want to be able to take a break from the demands every once in a while and do something for myself. Oh, in um, here in Charleston, I went and got a haircut. I left all the girls with Michael the timing just worked out perfectly. I called right then. Hey, do you have an appointment available for right now? <laughs> the ladies at the salon were like, uh, yeah, luckily. And I'm like, okay, I'll be there right now. I ran outside and I got a haircut and it took an hour. It was awesome. I just got to like close my eyes. And then when I opened them, I picked up a trashy magazine. I think it was People. I got to read about celebrity weddings and divorces. It was like the most blissful hour. Oh. Uh oh, don't fall in. Don't fall in the water, Maple. Do you know what kind means? Kind means nice. Yeah, it does mean nice. Yeah. Well, kind is a special kind of nice when you do something to somebody else. That's nice. That means it's kind. Is that kind? That was kind. <laughs> Papa? Uh, you mean running in a circle? Yeah. Uh, who is it kind to? It's kind to poop. Uh, I don't see That's kind. It's not kind to run in a circle, but it's also not unkind. But why is it not kind to run in a circle? Because kind means nice to someone and there's no someone involved. With a baby who's exclusively breastfed, it's hard to leave her with anyone. So it really has to just work out, like with luck almost. Like she just got changed, just fell asleep. Bam, run out the door and I have, you know, maybe an hour, maybe three hours, maybe a half hour, I don't know. In three months from now, Olive will be a year old and she'll be able to drink something else besides my breast milk. So that might change things for me as far as being able to get away. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Yeah, because you're kind to mama. Excuse me, Susan? Susan? Excuse me, Susan? Yes, Barbara? No! Yes, ma'am? Is Lyndon calling you Susan? <laughs> yes, I'm not sure why, but she's saying, excuse me, Susan? <laughs> Who's Susan? <laughs> Susan, mama. Excuse me, Susan, you can't go there. I can't go there? Why? Because it's my castle. Go away, Susan. This is a castle? Go away, Susan. Who's Susan? Go, Susan. Go away, Susan. Well, we've been brainstorming. What would be a good name for our channel besides Three Little Trees? Susan. Now that we're doing our road trip, we can kind of like feel what it really is like living on the road. And we're thinking of what would be a good name for our channel, especially if we get an RV and actually really go on the road. One thing that's a common theme is being barefoot. I feel like I'm the shoe wrangler. I'm constantly picking up shoes that the girls take off and throw to the side. Also, their hair is always a mess, no matter how hard I try. So we were thinking the channel could be bare feet and messy hair. And then it could be part of our branding, so I won't have to be putting on their shoes every five seconds or trying to wrestle with their hair. Another thing that we thought about is something about playing with sticks. Because everywhere we go, Lyndon and Maple find sticks and they gather sticks, they play with sticks, they run around with sticks, they trade sticks, they... Sticks are a really big part of every single outing we do. There's always sticks around and sticks make a really good toy. And one of their favorite shows is Stickman on Amazon. Is there alligator in there? Sometimes there's alligators in there, yeah. And what do they say when I poke them in there? Well, we won't poke alligators. You don't go near them. Because they could... You. That's right. Someday. No, no not someday. Let's Why? never have alligators bite us. Tell me who I have to be. I know we gotta do. Uh -huh. To get so rare. Yeah. Surprise no, 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 no. See, no one loves more than me. And no
What, maple? I see the water. You see the water? We're at the South Carolina Aquarium. It's right on the water. There's all these piers and boats floating by. It's hot out today, so we're excited to go in and feel that air conditioning. No, no, this is a shark tank. Yeah. Oh, cool. The elevator is designed like a shark tank. Like it looks like we're in the shark tank amongst the sharks. That's super cool. Right? It's okay. I have a surprise for you, Maple. She loves turtles. Maple, I have a surprise for you. See the turtle? Look, honey bunny. This is a turtle you can actually play. Do you want to see a turtle? I want to the turtle. Using two fingers down the back. Two fingers. Yeah. Maple, do you want to touch a turtle? I want to touch a turtle. Then look right over here. This, see this man? He's holding a turtle. Sanitizer. Like this. Look. And then you rub it. Just like that. Good girl. Thanks, guys. What do you see in there, Maple? Fishy in there. Is a fishy in there? Fishy in there. What's that fishy doing? He's saying flop, flop, flop. <laughs> I like your song. Oh no, that's Maple's Tower. Towers. Towers, towers, towers. They had this cool thing called the trading post where kids can bring in trash and recyclables and then they get to trade them for sea artifacts like seashells or some other stuff I didn't see. So Lyndon traded in a LaCroix can for three yeah. seashells. That's a really good trade. One seashell for Lyndon, one for Maple, one for Olive. Is there a crab in here? No, but I can hear the ocean. You can only hear it. With your ears. What's in that shell? Nothing really. Uh, the animal that used to live in there was a mollusk, a snail. A mollusk? We did the second floor of the aquarium first, which had two play areas for toddlers. So basically we've been playing the whole time we've been at the aquarium. And now it's nap time, so I just plunked the two big girls in the stroller and we're gonna walk through the first floor where all the exhibits are. And hopefully the aquarium will be really calming and relaxing and dark and put them to sleep. came to say hi. What are we doing guys? Going to Chattanooga. Not Chattanooga. We're going to Chattanooga next. We're going to Wilmington. Going to Chattanooga. We're going to Wilmington. That's true. We're packing up from Charleston. Kind of sad to leave Charleston because we ended up 
loving Charleston. It's one of my favorite places on this whole trip. And we also got to hang out with Les Junkmore Journey again in Charleston, so that was an extra special bonus. It's really hot in Charleston, and we all got eaten alive by mosquitoes. So we're kind of craving cooler, drier weather. So we're heading north. We're gonna go to Wilmington, North Carolina. It's not gonna be much cooler, but even a few degrees would be nice. It looks like it's a cute little beach town with a river walk, cute little downtown. We'll see. We're getting near the end of our trip, which is super bittersweet. Yesterday, we almost decided to just drive all the way home. Our plan is to just go to Charlotte for another week and then go to Raleigh for a week and then we're meeting that guy who would drive our car home. Uh -huh. And take we would take an airplane. But then we got this crazy idea just like 10 minutes ago, Michael got the idea, that what if we just drove to Charlotte tomorrow, like we planned, then spend the night and then wake up in the morning and then drive three hours further, then spend the night, then wake up that morning, drive three hours further, so then just drive all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool, I think. Ah! <laughs> That's two tails is in a row. We have two tails in a row telling us not to do this. <laughs> Head says we should do it. Yeah, we had two tails before, but Head says we should do it. <laughs> so how do you interpret that? I don't know. <laughs> We weighed all the pros and cons of what that would be like for, you know, driving across the entire country with three little kids, three and under. And we ended up deciding not to do that. So we're going to enjoy our last couple of weeks here on the east southern coast. And then we'll fly out of Raleigh in a little under three weeks and we'll fly to SFO and come back home. So sad. Do you want your apple? 